Hi, I am Ioana Avram and I am a fashion designer and a fashion illustration teacher from Romania, Europe. Today we will learn how to draw bodies, hands and feet. We will start with the frame all around the page. This should be equal, like two fingers or only one. Then the symmetric line. Then the size of the human head and half of this proportion will be the neck then if you want for example you go with this line then this line goes up we have to connect the upper part with the symmetric line okay and this can be parallel until here and then for example, let's put like this the axis and if you want the arms they can be in another position this time. Torach engage and the primary shapes. and also the other parts of the human body you will have to be careful because this is like half of the body this point should be like half or the legs they can be a little bit bigger but usually this is the half of the body and then Go with the cylinders. And then with the third step, you just go with the connection of the shapes, like this. Here is another muscle. This is big, and here you should carve a little bit in this shape. And then should follow this line of the thoracic cage and then here it can be smaller the belly and then this muscle I told you last time the knee and these muscles one is up and one is down and you should be careful that usually uh, my students they draw like this this line but you also have a muscle here so you have the bone inside and the muscle goes up here and up here and then you have the muscle here it's very important when you have the legs like this you have to draw each one of them so you have to be careful here not to add the line of the leg here but to go until here so even if you don't see something you should draw it and then you can erase it if you want and this is the shape And for the hands, I will go into detail here. So you have this shape, and then you will see that all bones are having a bigger bone, a smaller, and even smaller. So it's one that is big, the second one is smaller, and then even smaller. And you will follow this round line like this until you will get the perfect shape you will just connect these lines and then you have this finger here that should be until the first one here so not bigger and not smaller and then each of these 
it's a cylinder as we already said you should follow the rule of drawing the axis and then primary shapes and at the end just connect the shapes in every drawing you will make from now on and now you will just have to be careful that each one is having a frontal plane and a side plane one here and another one here so And this is it, the hand. And for example, this position, if you want, is very easy to draw. All you have to do is to have two lines, then a circle, then two planes here. They are parallel but in a round shape, like this, and a triangle. And all you have to do is to connect the shapes to obtain the leg. And if you want to make it in the other position, then it's the same. This line goes into the half of the circle. Coming from here, you will have this. And at the end, the triangle. You connect the shape, and here you have. And that's it. So I use that one, charcoal, the dark one. Please press thumbs up if you like this video and you want more like it. Also, feel free to share it to your social network. I will post my new videos each Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe. I will do my best to answer to all your comments, so ask anything you want and feel free to leave any suggestion for future videos. All are taken into consideration. For more info, just visit my website www.fashion-teaching.com. Thank you and take care.